Hello fellow collectors and YouTubers out there. This is Max Power with a new video of a new piece that I have. I actually got this piece a couple months back, but um, I wanted to, uh, to take it out and do a video on this piece. What I'm showing you here is the certificate that came with the piece. Now this is the Hollywood Collectors Gallery piece. Um, according to the certificate, there are 750 pieces that were made. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion because before they said it was 500, so I'm not too sure, but my certificate says 750. Uh, this specific piece, according to the certificate, was sculpted by a well-known well -known sculptor in the entertainment industry, uh, Mr. Katigiri. Not sure if you guys know his work, uh, but it looks like he's been involved in several pieces uh, several movie pieces like the X-Files and Pacific Rim and Pirates of the Caribbean. He did the sculpt according to the certificate, but the actual insignia, the uh, the piece that you see on the sh on the chest is the actual is a sculpted piece uh used from the mold of the original uh Batman cow from the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up close to you so you can take a look at what it says. Um, you're welcome to pause the video. Hopefully I can get this for you to see it a little bit clearer. I do have some glare. but uh, If you can't seem to get it, then uh, you're also welcome to go on the, on the internet and find it. And then it'll give you the same information that I'm seeing on the certificate. Uh, one issue do I, that I have with the certificate is that um, even though this was sculpted by this gentleman who obviously is well known, very talented, the piece is not signed by him. The certificate is not signed by him. Instead, I have a signature of, uh, I don't know, um, the Hollywood Collector's CEO. So that's kind of disappointing. You know, if he made this piece or if he sculpted it, then the certificate, in my opinion, should be signed by the sculptor. But in this case, that did not happen. And, um, well, it is what it is. All right. Those that are interested in what a box looks like, here it is. Hollywood Collectors Group doesn't really, or gallery, excuse me, does not do much of a design on a box. Every piece that I receive from these guys is always just a black box with the name of what it what it has or what the context it contents it are is in. Uh, in this case, as you can see, it's just a black box. Now this one, I was really surprised. It does have the Batman logo. That was uh, interesting. Now uh, every again, every piece I receive usually doesn't have that any design. It just has a name. So I guess that was kind of nice. I'm not going to show you the box from the left and to the right and to the back because all of this is just the black box. There's no more design. This is, this is it. All right, let's go on to the piece. And there it is. All right, let me go ahead and give you a 360 view before I say anything in regards to the piece itself. All right, um, I like the piece. It really, I think they really did a good job. The sculptor did a really nice job uh, with the piece. There is a lot of details. I mean, a lot of details for what it is. It's done very well. Um, I do have some issues with the piece right off the start. Two things, two things that really um, bother me. Um, but one of those things like it's easily fixed the other not so much unless i want to go ahead and uh, have someone else uh, do the work for me 
Uh, what I'm talking about on this piece is paint. There's some issues with the paint. Um, I'm going to have to show you that and I have to bring the camera a little bit closer. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. The other piece is the, the stem that it is on. All right, with every Hollywood collector's group piece, I believe, at least the pieces that I receive, have always had some type of QC issue. I don't know why. It's, it's something so small that they could, they could just fix so it doesn't feel cheap. Um, this piece, the same thing. This is what holds the cowl, obviously, when you saw me re remove it. But... This is what I'm talking about. This right here, it feels very cheap. I mean, this is just a plastic, okay? And okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna see this because the cow is gonna be on top of it, but this is, my, this is a big concern and a big issue for me. They should have made the hole deeper so the stem would go in a little bit more and so you wouldn't have this flimsy piece that it doesn't keep the cow straight it's just very flimsy I mean you can see that I'm moving it with ease it's just I mean I can fix this I can put something around here and shove it in there and that'll tighten it but again it's just something that I don't know if it's overlooked or it's just some or maybe they didn't put any time into this so that bothers me um, Let's put the cowl back on. All right, the next problem that I have with this, um, with the with the cowl, is again the paint. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and take this camera off here, and I'm gonna go on to show you some more details of the actual sculpt which you'll see that it's done very nicely, but you'll also see what I'm talking about as far as QC issues with the paint. All right, so again, let's take a look at the cowl itself. Detail, very nice, no complaints, very well done. Okay. The neck, very well sculpted, sculpted. One of the things I do really like is the insignia. They really, the sculptor did a fantastic job. Um, obviously it was done from the original mold and I like the fact that the insignia is raised. That really adds a nice dimension to the actual piece. I also like the base. The base is, uh, done very well in a closer view of the I like this piece right here it almost looks like the neck joint on the newer Batman suit and uh, yeah so the base is one of the things that I do enjoy now getting back to the QC issue alright guys so here it is paint all right, there's this area right here that there is a kind of a, uh, a matted area that seems to be off color. Now on this side, and it, and it runs all the way from here to right here, and you probably can see it a little bit better right here, but this side is not, is a little bit more subtle than on this side. On this side, you will definitely see what I'm talking about. All right, so there it is, right here, all the way to the top. Just sloppy. I don't know what happened, but just sloppy. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to see this at nighttime or in low lighting, but, you know, if you have this piece out and about or out where there's sunlight or daylight like I do in this video, um, you will see that. And it's a shame because... Overall, the piece is done very well. So. 
But given its imperfection, um, as I said, I'm happy with the piece. Um, I always wanted to have one of the, the, the scowls and well, when I saw it online, I, I went ahead and jumped on it and I purchased it and I really got a good price for it. So uh, I, I'm happy that I have it, um, even with the issues that um, I mentioned. So with that being said, uh, if you're looking to pick up this piece, the only thing that I would advise is that you make sure that your that you check the paint the paint on it and um, make sure it doesn't have those issues like mine. Um, other other than that, uh, I do. I mean, if you really like Batman or or if you're a fan or if you just want uh, a cow from the uh, the older movies, um, I would uh, certainly say pick this up, and I think you will be pretty happy with the piece altogether. So. All right, guys, uh, thank you for staying tuned. Uh, I have a couple more pieces that I'm going to do videos on uh, at another time. I have some Back to the Future with the anniversary coming up. I like to uh, post those. Um, so, but I have to find the time. So, uh, but stay tuned. I will put, put more videos out there. And um, thank you very much for uh, watching the video. I'll talk to you soon.